In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome mirror effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. Now, before we jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, it's really important that we have the correct footage because if we don't have the right footage, then we won't be able to edit this effect. So first of all, you just need to mount your camera onto a tripod, dial all your settings into manual mode, make sure your light is not flickering or changing, and then you just want to press record. And you want to make sure that you can see yourself in the reflection of the mirror and not in the reflection of the mirror. Then you just want to do one action and then you want to do another action. And now it's really important that when you're doing these actions, you're not actually blocking the mirror itself because if you go in front of the mirror, then you're going to have to roto or mask yourself out. And this is gonna get quite complicated. So instead try not to cross that line and make sure you're not in front of the mirror. So with your two shots now filmed, they should both be static shots, both framed up exactly the same. With both of these filmed, we can drop these into Premiere and begin editing this effect. So I'm just gonna drop these two video clips onto my timeline. As you can see, I've got this clip here. This is my reaction, and then this is what could be reflected into the mirror. So all we have to do now is to just trim this first video clip. So I'm just going to trim this roughly around here. So I'm gonna press C on the keyboard to load the razor tool, make a cut, make a cut, and then I'll just select this part of the video. And then I'm going to drag this video because I want this mirror reflection in this shot here. So I'm gonna drag that up onto video layer two, and then I'll just cut the video on video layer one so that it matches video layer two. So you can see if I pull the opacity down, these are overlapping now, but the frame is perfectly matched up. So to get these to match, all you have to do is just click on this mirror layer, so this top layer, the mirror two. Then you want to go up into opacity, select the free draw bezier tool, and we're just going to draw a mask around the right side of the frame, getting close to that mirror, so around here. And then you can just complete that mask. Now let's play this back, see how this looks. There you go, you can see that looks really good, although the problem is because on this layer here, if I turn the mask off, so if I just get rid of that for now, you can see I was doing this action with my hand. And unfortunately, it is starting to creep into this mask just here. So I'm just going to scroll through to the point where it appears the most in the frame, so around here. And then I'm just going to adjust the mask so that that is now removed. Make sure that this doesn't overlap yourself as well. As you can see, it is overlapping myself here. So instead, I'm going to go to this point We'll create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Then I'm gonna come back to the point where it starts to overlap, so here. Then I'll just change that master down here. And I'm just gonna keep playing through to make sure there's no more areas where it will overlap. As you can see, it overlaps here a little bit again at the end. So just gonna bring this in just a little tighter, making sure it doesn't overlap. And I'll just cut the end of that off. So let's see how this looks. You can still see there's a little bit of overlap just about here. So I'll go back into that top layer and we'll just update that mask one more time. And that should now get rid of that. Perfect. So you can see this is the original shot. This is the reflection shot that we've added in. If we turn this on and off, you can see the original versus the new version. And then from here, you can just right click and select nest and you can call this mirror shot. And now this is nested in its own composition. So that means you can animate the scale, you can animate the position to add a nice handheld movement to this shot, or you can just leave it be and just work with this single layer. But there you go, that is how you create this reflection mirror effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro using some simple masking. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.